how to install an iPolo. In this video, we have with us one iPolo, the iPolo B Classic. You can see it over here. And I'm gonna show you how to install it from the beginning to the end. It's not very easy to do it. Uh, for what I found in the internet, it's not very well explained. And in this video, first, I'm gonna show you what comes in the box, how to set it up, everything of that. And after, we'll show well, how to set it up, how to connect to the pool, everything, okay? Because as I said, it's not very well explained on the internet and I want a full tutorial what is very well and very clear so you can do it by yourself in the easiest way possible but before we start as i always say if you like the video please give it a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm if you want more videos like this you can always subscribe we are always putting this type of content and lastly if you have any questions about the video you can always leave them in the comments below or you can write us in instagram you have the link down below in the description and now lastly but not less important in the description you have the link to our shop if you're looking for a sick miner you have the best prices over there and with all that said let's go Okay, so here we have everything out of the package. The first thing we have is the miner. By the way, the miner is way heavier than it looks, okay? It's pretty heavy. It looks like nothing, but it's pretty heavy. Uh, also, in the package, you will receive your battery, okay? You will get uh, this cable. Basically, this is the run normal cable. It's like uh, basically a laptop <laughs> cable, but it's like super heavy. You can see here. And at the end, it has these two connectors that we will have to connect to the miner, which are basically six pins, okay? Like in GPUs, okay? And also, very important, you will get your Wi-Fi antenna. Okay, this is how it comes. It comes with this Wi-Fi antenna. It's basically a stick that you will connect. It's very simple to do. So what uh, what do we have in the miner? Let's check the miner a little bit closer. I'm sorry for the angle, but it's not very easy to record because as I said, uh, it's pretty heavy. It looks like it's not, but it's pretty heavy. So this is the Apollo. You can see it looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks pretty comfortable. And in the back here, we have the fans that throw all the heat. These things get pretty pretty hot like it throws a lot of heat and here we have the ethernet cable you can connect it through ethernet and here you have the wi-fi connection here you will have to put basically the antenna that we had before okay basically you, you, you just put it like this you put it in let me put it in so i show it to you you put it around and there it is okay now it's a completely wi-fi miner okay looks pretty beautiful with the wi-fi thing beam now you have a wi-fi miner how how awesome is that i mean that's kind of awesome because it's pretty unusual and on the other hand, here on the other side, you have basically the IP report button. Okay, what? When you connect it to the um, connection to the Wi-Fi to find it on your computer, you'll have to go to an IP finder. You will see that after. And here you'll have to, or when you're finding it, you'll have to click here. So it reports the IP and you can find it. Here you have the green thing if it's working correctly, red thing if it's not working correctly. Here you have like to put a stick in case you want to check the change the firmware. Here you can reset it in case you want to reset, in case you want to reset it. And to start it is super easily uh, basically you see here here is where you connect the two six pins so you just grab basically the six pins very very simple you put one okay let me see if i can put it okay there it is one done and then you put the other one you just come again and you put it here i'm sorry it doesn't look as beautiful as it should but this thing is goddamn heavy okay and now once you do that you just leave it over here and on your battery which is here connected uh, well you have the typical cable okay normal normal cable of a laptop uh you just connect this cable here okay it's basically a c13 if i'm not mistaken and you connect that to the electricity okay ole now it's connected and as you can see it makes a lot of noise on the beginning I hope you can hear it. This mic is, uh, well, pretty quiet if I'm not talking. So yeah, on the beginning, it makes a lot of noise, but as soon as it starts, uh, like it finishes doing the restart, because this is what it does on the beginning, you will see that it gets super, super quiet. I'm going to wait a little bit just to show you, because for real, it's like 30 seconds of sound. But after those 30 seconds, it gets like super, super quiet. Uh, so I'm just going to wait here a little bit until it finishes the restart. As I said, it's like, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds, uh, because after the sound is literally nothing like like nothing uh the, the 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 air goes through here okay and it goes out through here and as you can see now it's already silence and look at this sound is nothing okay it's nothing even less than a graphic card so once it finishes its restart it will be like this all the time even when it's mining it makes no noise and that's something very comfortable so <laughs> now that we saw the unboxing of the ipolo because i think it's very cool let's go to the actual meat let's go to what we are looking for 
Okay, so here we are and now we are gonna do all the part of the software. The actual setup, it was a little bit uh, complicated to find in the internet, it's not very well explained, so that's exactly what we are gonna do now. Uh, we're gonna explain it as easy as possible. I have to say something, normally if you want to connect to the iPolo, what you should do, okay, if you want to go directly uh, wireless and not use an Ethernet cable or anything, you should uh, well start the iPolo as we uh, already did, then you go to Wi-Fi and you'll find a, a Wi-Fi network called iPolo. Polo. Once you are in that Wi-Fi network, uh, you go to Google and you put 192.168.1.2 or .2. 2.1, I don't remember exactly which of the two of them, uh, you search and you will appear on the page of the iPolo, basically on the main page, which is this. Uh, it did not work for me, at least it didn't work. Um, it's supposed to be like the base IP uh, and you should appear here when you do that, but for me it didn't work and I didn't found in the internet why, so what I did it is was simple. Basically I connected through Ethernet and after we will do the uh, wireless connection. So if you connect through Ethernet and then you go to wireless, I'll explain you how I'll do it, how it works for me. It's very simple, okay? You connect to your network and you connect the uh, iPolo through Ethernet to the same network. Uh, so you have to connect it to your Wi-Fi, basically, okay? So you connect to the same Wi-Fi and once you do that, you'll need an app to find your iPolo IP. Uh, I'm using Think, it's the one who worked the best for me. So basically, you download this app or any other IP finder that you want to use. You go to uh, Start, you go to, um, basically, the dispositivos is Devices, sorry, and here you'll go into your iPolo and you'll click on the button that said IP report, you'll click it, you'll come running and you click on actualize and when you do that it will appear, okay, it will find everything that is connected to the Wi-Fi and iPolo will appear, you go in iPolo and it will tell you the IP, okay, you have it here. You copy this IP address, now you come to Google and you just put it, okay, you put it, you click on intro and now you'll be on iPolo, okay, you are connected through Ethernet for now, so we'll change that. Once you are here, you have to put the username and the password, they are both root on the beginning, after they ch you, you should change them but in the beginning they are both root and once you do that you click enter and you'll be inside your iPolo all of this will be on zero you won't be mining you won't be doing anything so what are we gonna do now first thing we want to go wireless okay that's the main point of these small miners you can put them whatever you want so uh, if you want to connect wireless that's what we're gonna do now so how do we connect wireless very simple you'll come here and here there will be like two different Wi-Fi networks called iPolo and iPolo v3 or something like that uh, you remove both of them okay and you will go here where it says scan, okay, in the generic one. You go in scan and it will scan all the networks where it can connect to see, well, to, to which Wi-Fi you want to connect. Here you'll choose the one you want. In my case, is Poco X3 NFC. And yes, I know this is a phone Wi-Fi, uh, but, well, it's the one I want. If I wanted orange, you can use any you want, okay? You go on join network and here you'll have to first check this box and here you'll have to put the name of the network. Uh, one thing that is important is you can see it's saying that it's not correct. Well, you cannot leave leave blank spaces and so when there is a blank space in your wi in your Wi-Fi you'll have to put underscore okay uh, it's basically how it translates and here you'll have to put the password of your Wi-Fi obviously so uh, we'll put the password and after you click this box also and here instead of leaving it in the red one you put an specified this one and then you go to submit okay once you submit that this will appear you have to leave this in client here you have to put the name correctly again but here with the spaces okay it's perfect and uh, down here you put the, the one that is the name okay like in my case Poco X3 NFC. Here you go to save, okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna close this, and here uh, you go to save and apply, okay. Once you do that, it will kind of restart, so we'll wait until it restarts, and after you will turn it off, you will take off the Ethernet, and you will turn it on, and now it will be connected via Wi-Fi, okay, it's that simple. Uh, you will restart again, and it will connect via Wi-Fi. Okay, once it connects through Wi-Fi, the IP address will be different, so now uh, this basically, when you search here, it will say like it doesn't exist, it won't appear, so again, you'll have to go to your find or IP finder is uh, this type of apps. You will actualize again and now you'll find it again and it will have a different IP. You copy the IP, you put it here and you'll be again on the same page that we were before in this one. You'll put root and then you'll enter your miner. It's very simple. Okay. Here you'll say no, no. Every time they're very annoying. And here what we're going to do now is, hey, we want to mine. How are we going to do for mining? Well, for that, you go to miner configuration. Okay, it's very simple. You go there and here you're going to choose which pool you want to mine. In our case, we're going to use F2 pool. I think it's very comfortable to use. That's the only reason I'm using it. Uh, so basically, you'll go to F2 pool, you'll register, you'll create a username and everything, and you'll choose which coin you are going to mine. In my case, ETC, because I'm going to mine ETC. So I choose ETC and then I go to here, to home. Okay, I don't know why it translates to Spanish all the time, but in English, it will be home. Okay, once you go to home, 
home uh, here if you go down this this won't appear for you uh, you will see here pull urls uh, urls so you copy the first one okay basically and you put it in here okay here you will have probably the ipolo one they gave you no put yours and here the worker name will be your username at least with this pool dot ipolo mini which is the model of your ipolo dot zero one in my case okay without the dot sorry zero one so as i said first the username my username pedro msb 98 pedro msb 98 dot I follow mini because it's the model that I have and then I put 01 because it's my first minor if not you can put 02 you can put whatever you want okay very important to put the model I don't know why but it seems like it doesn't work if you don't put the correct model um, don't ask me why okay I really don't understand why uh, but for what I found out you have to put it maybe I'm confusing maybe it's not but for at least for me it was like that after in password you put the password you want I put X with X is all right you don't have to put anything else but I mean you can put if you want and very important select which coin you want to mine you can mine Ethereum well you can mine you can mine Ethereum classic and with Ethereum classic Ethereum work and Ethereum fair so in my case Ethereum classic okay and with all that configured uh, you can already mine but Pedro where am I getting paid? How does that work? Well, if you want to get paid, you'll have to go to the pool uh, because it, you get paid through the pool. Go to your account, go to account settings, and here you'll have to go to payout settings. And in payout settings, you will have here all the coins. And you see that in my case, in Ethereum Classic, I already have a wallet. But in the case of Bitcoin, for example, I don't have an address. So you have to click on add an address and it will tell you basically which address you want to add. In my case, uh, I'm going to use just Binance. You go to Binance. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, you go to your wallet in Binance, which is up here in spot. Here you find in my case ethereum classic or the coin that you're mining and here you go to deposit and very important these the place where you mine any wallet that you want i'm using finance just so I, because of comfort but you can use any um you need the network to be ethereum classic okay you have to be uh, mining on the native network and here you copy the address and you come and you paste it okay you just go you paste it you put it you confirm it and that's all okay and that way you'll get paid on f2 pool and now when you go to information overview ah very important when you change the minor configuration save and apply don't forget i just put it on the beginning i was like okay why is this not working go and save and apply applied okay it will restart again it will do everything it always restarts uh, how do i know I'm, I'm mining first of all in information review this is the one who gets actualized the first one you'll see here the lapse time this is the time that it's connected to the pool and it started mining and uh, when you put it it will be like 29 seconds here it will say status alive stratum true okay that means that you are connected that is working even when it the running overview will say like zero mega hashes like you're not mining yet in information it will already say like true and life if not wait five minutes and you will start to get a uh, mega hashes and this like uh, table will start to 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 be running okay as you can see it started uh every time you enter it gets a new one it creates a new one but anyways it takes some time to actualize you can see right now it's on 61 degrees and also in the pool okay in the pool you can go to workers and you can see that uh, in my case it already says ipolo mini 01 so it's already catching it but this takes like 20 to 30 minutes it can take so uh, the fastest thing is informational overview and lastly but not less important please go to power chains and and change the password okay don't put root root because anyone can take it okay so change your password so nobody can enter apart from you and yeah that would be basically all so in resume first you'll have to use the ip uh, address application that you want to use to find your ipolo ip uh, you'll have to connect through Ether ethernet and after you go to wireless connection uh, sorry also remember to find your ip you'll have the ip report button that they have uh once you do that you create a new uh, wireless connection through the wi-fi that you want to connect and then you save everything that we put before you click save and apply then you restart it then you find the new ip because it will have a new ip you don't have to report it it will find it by itself because it will be connected already and yeah and in this new ip you'll enter and then you'll have to change the minor configuration which will be the pool the worker name and the password okay you'll click save and apply and then you'll go to running overview and you can see everything and all everything else you can do in the pool okay in the pool is where you get paid is where you do everything okay so this is basically all if you like the tutorial please give it a thumbs up uh, it helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm if you want more videos like this please ask me in the comments below if you have any questions whatever you want if you want more videos you can always subscribe and i'll see you on the next video bye